In this screencast, we're going to discuss the Blasius solution for boundary layer flow. So the Navier-Stokes equations as shown here for steady two-dimensional laminar incompressible flow past a flat plate with negligible gravitational effects. We're going to assume that V, which is the Y component of velocity, is very much less than U, which is the X component velocity, and D, D, X is very much less than D, D, Y. And we can make these assumptions since the boundary layer is thin, because then the velocity normal to the plate will be very much less than that parallel to the plate. And the rate of change of any parameter across the boundary layer, in other words, through its thickness, is going to be much greater than that along the flow direction. In addition, there is no pressure gradient within the boundary layer. And so we're left with that u du dx plus v du dy is equal to the kinematic viscosity d squared u dy squared. So our boundary conditions for the boundary layer are that u is equal to v, which is equal to zero at y equals zero. So if we draw a picture of the velocity profile along this plate, so this is x and this is y, we get something that looks like this, which is parabolic. You can see that u and v are zero at the plate. In addition, so here's our free stream velocity. As y approaches infinity, our u, or a velocity profile, is going to approach big U, or the free stream velocity. So this boundary layer equation is a nonlinear partial differential equation, but by applying a coordinate transformation and change of variables, the Blasius solution reduces the PDEs to ordinary differential equations. And this is done by introducing what's known as a similarity variable. And that's going to be eta, which is going to be equal to the free stream velocity u divided by the kinematic viscosity times x to the one half. And by manipulating the boundary layer equations and applying the boundary conditions, then we integrate the resulting equation on a computer, then we can find the similarity variable as a function of little u over big u, as shown in the table below. So note that u over, or little u over big u, is approximately 0 0.99 when eta is equal to 5. And the reason that that's important is because because that's the definition of the boundary layer thickness. In other words, at y equals del, so that's the boundary layer thickness, u, little u, over big u, is equal to 0 0.99. So we go over here to our table, and you see that 0 0.99 is when eta is about equal to 5. So our eta is equal to 
del, so we replace the y with our boundary layer thickness, u over the kinematic viscosity times x raised to the one half. So if we want to actually find the boundary layer thickness, we just rewrite this as del is equal to 5 times the square root of the kinematic viscosity times x divided by big U, or the free stream velocity. And as Reynolds number can be written as U times x divided by nu or the kinematic viscosity, then we can write a relationship for del with respect to the Reynolds number, and this is equal to 5 divided by the square root of the Reynolds number based on x.